is Thursday the 17th of June and uh, there are fish everywhere from Port Shepston down to Port Edward a lot of sauce already netted at uh, Ivongo Beach the guys have already pulled the net um, so there's already crates being packed there and everywhere from Port Shepston going down there is sardine activity today it's going to be a cracker uh, the day after the holiday sorry for the guys at work but uh, it's looking really really good we're gonna hang a bit higher um, Port Shepston and a bit higher we're gonna look uh, seriously look for those sharks and fish today to give you a bit of an update today uh, about yesterday a lot of saw saws at Port, Port Edward yesterday that got netted and there were some game fish caught there were two GTs landed and one lost on the side there were a few big sharks and some of the sharks uh, ran the sardines are everywhere from Port Shepston all the way down they already netted at Ivongo and there's going to be a lot of nets today but um, today we're going to look for some pools and uh, so we're going to pick a spot I was busy just giving an update on yesterday there were some big grey sharks landed last night at Port Edward and there were GTs yesterday and there were a few pools the guys lost so the sharks are slowly coming up and some game fish uh, so it's looking good but yeah there's going to be a lot of action today guys we can't be everywhere so we'll share what we hear and what we see uh, in proof but I know Ivongo has already got a net on the beach and um, all the beaches from Port Shepston going south there's a lot of fish and even above Port Shepston so we're going to hang around at a certain spot here where we know they're possibly going to net now and we're going to see what happens there and maybe we can get stuck on some uh, on some bigger sharks morning Sahil morning Selection uh, Ethan okay Ethan they're, they're at Ivongo already netted but they're everywhere on the south coast so all the way from above Port Shepton going south is a lot um, guys so we'll share all the information we can and we obviously when we get fish when the sharks are here good morning Josh uh, Ishmael uh, we'll share all of that just make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button then you'll be notified every time we upload a live or a, a video goes up on the sardine run but I think we're gonna see some good action today um, there's some really nice areas they're looking at netting as well uh, talking about bigger fish and landing them so when you when you're actually in the sardine run and you're putting baits out guys select your spot so that you've got a good chance of, of landing the fish especially if you're on drone if the sharks are rolling in the surf that's a different story but try and hook one and let him go out and move away from the crowds at least you've got a good chance of landing them so spot selection and landing consideration is extremely important for responsible fishing we call it responsible fishing but we all want to land fish so it goes hand in hand with that so yeah it looks like the action is going to start when it comes to the fishing side there was some shark activity last night and yesterday at Port Edwards with all the sauce that were netted there and then the GTs two GTs that got caught there even GTs in Transkai um, that got caught on sardine and bigger baits um, that the, the fish are picking up some tuna activity yesterday morning at Port Edward um, and higher up so yeah I think we're gonna start seeing some really good catches coming through we're hanging just above Port Shepston and we'll keep you guys updated on what's happening here you can see these areas behind me uh, if we can get if the guys can get a net out here we're gonna see some good action it's a lovely spot to land fish uh, absolutely the right spot so we're gonna choose this spot and see if we're gonna get lucky here today uh, but like I said just for the guys that came in late Ivongo already netted and there's sods from above Port Shepston all the way to Port Edward uh, there's gonna be a lot of netting guys it's gonna be all over the show so great news and uh, very exciting for today we'll climb in and see what we can do uh, the water is looking great there's a bit of it's a it's not as flat as yesterday but it's still flattish it's nice it's clean the guys will be able to see the fish that's why they've netted so early already this morning and uh, yeah guys be considerate on the beach with the other anglers uh, consider each other go over and a guy that's fighting fish help him to land his fish that's important that's what fishing's all about so 
when we were out there, let us keep fishing's name high, especially sports fishing. And uh, yeah, let's hope we're going to see some great, great action today. It's exciting and uh, we'll keep you guys up to date and uh, we'll share every video as soon as stuff happens we'll do a live update if there's fish around especially the sardines are everywhere so guys you'll see on facebook and social media everywhere they like, coming out uh just again ivonga already netted guys the, the nets on the beach and uh all the way down to port edward there's a lot of fish a lot of sardines coming through um, and then obviously what I mentioned about yesterday, just to recap, quite a few fish landed, a lot of lost, there were some nice hookups, some big fish and some edibles, uh, quite a few edibles. So yeah, it's looking good and uh, thanks Ethan, we'll give it a good shot today and see if we can get some, uh, some of those big monsters on, on camera uh, today. We've got Jock here from uh, Cape Town. His first sardine run ever, so the objective today is to try and get him into a, a really good size shark and stretch his arms so he can walk on his arms back to Cape Town. So yeah, guys, have a great day. Uh, we'll keep you up to date. Just make sure you subscribe. Yeah, no, sardines and Ivonga, guys, like I said, really, thanks. Uh, they already netted there, but uh, they're going to net in many places today by the looks of it. Sards are in, they're riding. And they spread out from above Port Sheps and all the way down to Port Edward. So uh, just keep a look out and make sure you, you uh, subscribe to receive those notifications uh, when we do the live updates. And we'll let you know wherever the swords are and especially where the fish are. So yeah, guys, hold thumbs. Here we go.